Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Energy Stress YT, back at it again. And first off, I just want to say thanks to everybody. We hit over a thousand subscribers. I just wanted to say thank you. That's like a goal that I've been wanting to hit, and we hit it. Although I haven't made a video or anything like that, I just want to say thank you guys. You know, and we're going to keep moving on forward. But anyways, back to this video. It's Apex Legends Season 8. We're playing ranked. This video is only for people who are like bronze trying to get to diamond. You know, those people that are kind of still struggling down there. This video is for you guys. No, I'm not a master player. No, I'm not a predator player. But I do know how to play the game. And I love to play this game. And I can give you what helps me to get to diamond. If you're a bronze, gold player, platinum player that are stuck, I'm going to tell you right now, Olympus is a very open map. You're going to want to have characters maybe switching the, the, the meta, right? What I did, I'm a Watson main. I stopped using Watson because Watson is not producing as much. Sometimes you have to make sacrifices in order to you in order for you to, to produce more in your team. That is very important. Number one, if you guys want to get out of bronze to platinum to diamond, you're going to have, you're gonna, almost going to need a squad, especially if it's not mechanically, uh, like, your mechanical abilities are not as good. You're going to need a team. You're going to need a good team. You're also going to need characters that are going to produce. When I mean produce, get a character that can produce, all right? So you guys will witness the next game after this little gameplay, how we get down with Crypto, Lifeline, and Octane. So I hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. I hope you guys stay blessed. I wish you guys the best. I hope you guys get some tips out of this. I hope you guys uh, can take some some commentary. Anything that can help you guys. I just hope it helps you guys. Keep grinding. Don't let nobody stop you. Do what you have to do to get where you want to go. All right. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Here we go. The NSG boys in action. Let's go, baby. I'm watching. I'm always watching. Big things are coming for us. Okay, guys. So let's see where we get where we have here. In this situation here, we have what you call them 50-50 drops, where you drop with another team, and it's a 50-50 because you might win, you might lose. What we do here is stay tight together. We stay tight together, we stay close by each other, and we work and fight as a team. Always staying near cover, staying near our teammates. Here. The last the team dies, we get third party by another team. We're all together. I'm able to move right here, make this move, bam. We make a drop right there. That's the game changer right there. We already dropped a, a guy from the third party squad. Now I see somebody trying to go around. I pull out my drone. This is why I'm using crypto. Even though I don't have an EMP, I can still open the door, go out, give scans to my team. Now, boom, I leave the drone behind them. I make a play on the right side. Boom. I go on the right. Even if they would have been up before they got knocked, I might have I would have been able to come from the side and flank them. It's plays like this that make game that changes the game. Also here, I'm gonna get shot in the back by the last person. Boom, I get dropped. Good thing that we're running a, a different meta. It's kind of weird. It's a weird meta, but it works. We're using lifeline, so lifeline is able to get me back up. Ink is able to provide cover fire. Then they both end up teaming on the last guy. Boom, they end up killing him. Lights out. Simple as that, guys. All right. Always fight with your team, play together, be aware of your surroundings, be quick to fight and react. You hate to see it, but you love to do it. The third party. Okay, here we go. Octane launch pad. We pull up. Two teams fighting in front of us. We don't necessarily push and just get crazy with it. First, I pull out my drone. Even though I don't have an EMP, I'm just looking around to, you know, getting all the intel on the enemy team. We see what's going on. I can see how many how many players are up. My team can also see how many players are up. And I'm using this intel to our advantage. I don't have a I don't have a EMP, but I just used the scan just to give us intel on the enemy position. Here we kill one of the the last guy from the first team. Then the guy comes sliding down from the top and gets fried by our whole squad. And as you see, my drone was still sitting up there so when he ran down there he was getting scanned it's a two for one you know the drone is really good sometimes you just gotta place it good i guess Are you sure we're already in the ring yes i'm firing you're right past my suit too we 
And I get an assist just because he wrote, drove, like, walked past my shit. They say. Hey, I, all we gotta do is wait for him to come out the storm, really. Gotta be careful, bro. Be careful, bro. Uh uh, uh uh, come back. They gotta come to us. Let's go here. He's right here. He's right here. Behind you. I scanned him right there, man. Give me my assist. Give me my assist. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Give me my assist. Give me my assist. See, I'm a good ass uh, uh, crit though, huh? <laughs> hey, I'm doing more with crit than with Watson, no cap, huh? Okay guys, and another important thing as a team, you want to be able to team fire and have good communication when it comes to targeting enemies and just laying down fire. Here we no we noticed there was a vehicle, we heard the vehicle, and we all just started team firing the heck out of them. As you guys can see, they were on their barrage of gunfire, they were broke, low, flesh, I think Overdose managed to knock somebody before he went inside that portal. We end up taking the portal, as you see here, and we didn't know what a we didn't know that the portal was outside the storm. So I kind of got panicked a little bit because I was like, "Oh snap!" I mean, even though they're like right there in front of us, I kind of just jumped back just to be safe. When I looked at the ring, I'm like, "Oh snap!" And I thought I had an arc star there, and I don't know what happened. You saw that arc star in my hand. I thought I threw it and it disappeared. So I don't know some some weird stuff happened. I thought I had an arc, so I tried to throw it at him. <laughs> and here we land here. We end up, uh, and she Inky ends up getting those kills. You know, we he pushed through. He ended up getting those kills. And that's a good uh, example of team firing and running down heavy fire on the same location at the same team at the same time. All right, now here's a good example of us fighting and doing whatever it takes for your team to win and not going down without a fight you do everything in your advantage to come out on top sometimes you just have to man up or shut up no cap one of them one of them is coming to our to our room i see them right here Yeah. Stay together, stay together, stay together. I think. Try to sell breath. I've been giving for 95. He's gonna try to rest. He's resting, he's resting, he's resting, he's resting. Be careful, try to heal up if you can. You win this, brother. Come on, don't get sloppy. Don't get sloppy. Don't get sloppy. Shit! <laughs> get on better. I think, I think. I think, brother. So yeah, as you guys saw there, I ended up putting enough damage on the last couple of guys for my brother to be able to come through and just win his 1v1. This is why it's important to apply lots of damage and not go out without a fight because you never know what might happen. I clutched up, bro. I ain't gonna cap. I think they really be one though. Damn, bro. We're fucking snapping in this game. Also, another tip for end game, you want to be able to make these critical decisions and what you're going to do, where you're going to fight, and how you're going to fight because the end game is where it matters the most. So, the call outs and the communication have to be on point. Enemy 
He's in the open, man. In the open. I cracked him. He's super one. He's super one in the, in the open. Need to heal up. All right, keep it tight. Keep it tight. I, I, I almost got an EMP. Charging on my shields. There's still one more squad. What are you? The old thing. My drone has been destroyed. Throwing ox top. Recharging my shields. Got a heal up. I just want to say thank you to everybody. This wraps up the video. We hit over a thousand subscribers. I'm very grateful. I'm very thankful. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Don't forget to tune into my also my boy Energy Inky. Peace out, everybody. I'm out this joint. Energy stress. I'm out the building. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Love you guys.